Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these cute unicorn, unicorn bookmarks. So, let me show you how they look. So, they, they're super adorable. They're like this, you can stick them on your books corner. And so, let me show you how to make them. What you're gonna need for this craft is a ruler, of course, some paper, a pencil, some scissors, and a few markers of your choice. They can really be any color, so it just depends on what your favorite colors are. So, first you're going to want to measure like about 5 inches. So like a five, um, five by five inch square. So I'm just gonna measure these real quick. I have my square here, and now all you need to do is cut it out. Okay, so I have my square here. And so, um, the next thing you're going to need to do is the folding. So, I have my square. I'm going to fold it in half like this. Excuse my mom yelling like that downstairs. We have a lot of family stuff going on. Okay. One second, please. That's better. Okay, so um, now I have my triangle. Fold it like that. Yeah. And um, now you're going to fold it up like that. And you're going to do that on both sides. Just kind of get it up here. So now that we have this, it's time to, uh, we can unfold it, and right here, we're going to fold this, this one, down, um, you're going to fold it down like this, and, um, fold these, this and then this one the same way like this okay so now um we yeah. okay. sorry this is like kind of really difficult to show you so um like this we're going to take this fold it up and then tuck this edge thingy inside the little pouch like that. You're gonna do that the same um, to the other side, I guess. Um, side and um, right here. Then you have your basic corner bookmark. Okay, so. Now we have it, and now it's time to get to decorating. So you're gonna take your paper, excuse me. Now we have our face, basic um, corner bookmark. Mm -hmm. And um, now it's time to get to the decorating. So we're going to cut shape that looks like about this big. Then we're gonna cut like strips about this size. You can do as many as you want. Just don't overdo it. This is going to be the hair for our unicorn. Okay. So we are going to take this 
and we are going to um, color it. Sorry for the scissors, I missed a step. And um, we're gonna color them with our markers, just different colors. Okay, so now I have all my strips colored. You can take one and um, we can cut it just into like very thin little things. This will be our hair. So, yeah, I can make it like look like that. Excuse my excessive weirdness. Like tassily. And you can do that on all of them. Oddly satisfying for me. Okay. So we're just going to do it to all of them. Okay. So now I forgot the glue in the supply list, so let me just go get some glue really quickly. Okay, so I am back with some glue. Um, you don't really don't need very much at all, so yeah. Also gonna need a little paintbrush to apply. Make sure it's small because we're gonna need like small paintbrush. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna brush it onto the side, the end of the hair and we're gonna stick it inside like this. I'm just gonna press it down until it dries or partly dries. Yours takes a long time to dry. And we're just gonna redo that on all the hair. Okay, just gluing the last bits, and voila, her hair is done. Next thing you're going to need to do is draw on her face. So, you're going to need like a blackish marker, I guess, for this. Um, I'm not going to, I don't have any right now, so I'm just going to use a dark blue. Just draw an eye, make it look like she's sleeping. You can draw an awake eye too. I did that on another one, just so it looks like that. Um, now, if you want just like no horn, um, like you can, if you want to do the bare minimum, you can like keep it here. Or if you want to go a step farther, you can add the horn and the ear. So to add the ear, you're gonna need to get a sheet of paper a little bit. Not very much at all. Just kind of like shape the ear. You can like adjust it as you go, just kind of fitting the unicorn. So I'm just gonna do that. And now that I have my appropriate size for my horn, I can put the little pink thingy inside the horn, if you know what I'm talking about. So um, I'm gonna get a little marker, pink marker. I'm going to just do a little bit of inside there. And now you can see, sorry, my hair is really bothering me today. Um, see a little ear now. We can now glue the ear on, applying our glue like we did. 
with the hair just on the tip and bring the ear on now it's time for the horn you can get some glittery paper I made my own by um, like putting some glitter on some paper and um, gluing it down and then protecting it with another layer of glue but if you have glittery paper already you can just use that so we're gonna shape a horn out of this paper it's looking so cute so beautiful already so um then we're going to apply it on um, the tip of the glittery side. You'll see why later. Okay. Now we're going to stick it in the back. Kind of like, yeah, like this. That's why we need it on the tip of the glittery side. And now your unicorn is done. It's so cute. And when the glitter catches the light, it is so beautiful. And you have a book. This is my diary. Um, you can put it on. No reading my diary. You can put it on the corner like this. And it will mark your space of where um you where you left off so yeah sorry my camera fell okay stay okay so um yeah that is it i hope you enjoyed doing this craft i sure did um just doing this and um, yeah, I'll see you next time. If you're new to my channel, just don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell button, and if you can't click the bell button, I think it's turned off. I don't know. Maybe, because I think this is made for kids. But, yeah, if you can, click it, and um, make sure to like this video, and all my other videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye!